know how to cook a decent meal. Like, for example, chicken, broccoli, and rice. More than I thought. <laughs> when my mom first moved out, she told me that she would call her mom almost every day to try to figure out what to eat. Like, something healthy, and it was just hard for her to figure out some of these words, some of these ways to do it. It was very hard for her. Now, I'll turn that off. Just keep going. Yeah. Oh, you can just keep going. Yeah. Okay. Now, for now, what I propose is that. Hold on, is that, that going to stop? Maybe. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go, you can. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, what I propose is that we can add a, we can add a high, cooking classes to high school so that people who are moving out can actually have an idea on what they can do. I'll be talking about the problems that occur when you don't know how to cook what we can do, what would happen when it is added to high schools and how, how, <laughs> how this helps the people. High, high school classes consist of only college prep classes. We don't really have any classes that teach you how to survive outside of your education. So when, so when people finally move out for college and they live on their own where their mom can't make them their breakfast or their dinner while they're doing their homework, they usually would go, they don't know what to eat, so they usually go to the fast food places that are across the street and eat all the fried food and high calorie with zero nutrition almost every single day, which ends up with them having, which is what people call the freshman 15, where most freshmen will gain 15 or more pounds their first year. It's funny. <laughs> the average college student, they gain an, about 2.5 to 3.5 pounds their first semester. And the percentage of kids that have an eating disorder ends up being 25 to 32%. I would like to take a step to prevent, prevent this by adding a cooking class to high school for seniors. Now, Like I said before, in high school, it consists of college classes and there's no life classes. So my goal to add a cooking class is for people to be able to learn for themselves how to survive on their own and not just on an education. In the cooking classes, it consist of anything that they could teach you, from simple breakfast to simple dinners that could be made in 10 minutes or less. For instance, let's take the McMuffin from McDonald's. It, it happens to be, it consists of 300 calories in it, but if you can make this at home, make the McMuffin at home and switch the sausage for ham, it could be a 230 calories diet that you can make in 10 minutes or less. 
not, not only that, would we teach the kids how to make something simple and how you could lose, how switching different things can make the calorie count less, we could also teach them how to <laughs> how to buy things at the store. When you buy the McMuffin from McDonald's, it costs three bucks. And when you buy, buy the stuff at the store, it comes in packages. So, so the muffin and the eggs and the ham, you get six, six doses, do, doses of it, which ends up being a total of seven ninety-eight. while if you buy the McMuffin six times, it ends up being $18. You could save money if you make things at, make things at home. And instead of spending all of it your freshman year on food when you got to spend it on your classes, your books, your school supplies, all that stuff. If we add these cooking classes to high school, it could give kids more responsibility, you know, for buying their own food, cooking at home, it gains them more responsibility and a little bit of a sense of adulthood. Not only that, since if you make it at home, you can see how much the calories are and how much nutrition you'll have instead of, and so the diabetes or the or any kind of eating disorders that you could get from always eating the fast food with zero cap with with high calories. Forgot my point. <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, if we teach college students and if we teach high school students how to cook, they gain more responsibility and they will eat a little bit more healthier, at least try to, since they, now they know. I talked about, I talked about the problems about not knowing how to cook. I talked about how we can fix that by teaching the kids in high school, like during their senior year or something. And I talked about the problem, what this can solve. As I stated before with my mother, she had a hard time figuring out how to cook her food and not gain extra pounds and get high blood pressure and all that. And by calling her mom every day and had a hard time with that. When I asked her if it would have helped if it, she had a cooking class in high school. She said, hell yeah, that would have helped a lot. Thank you for listening. Um, yeah. All right, thank you.